Have you ever wondered how these Instagram fashion influencers manage to afford to never wear the same thing twice? I just assumed it was because they all have a ton of money and they get sent a ton of stuff for free, which is true, but I recently learned a secret that a lot of them might be using, and that is designer clothing rentals. These types of sites have been around for the last decade, like Rent the Runway, Let's Out, Toolery, but a lot of them are geared towards if you have a special event coming up, you can rent like a nice dress. I came across one on TikTok that is specifically geared geared towards the influencer lifestyle. So those more like everyday looks that you can post cute pictures in and then send them back and get new ones. <laughs> and it seemed really, really affordable. Any spots left? Really trying to get you with that scarcity sales tactic. Some examples of the stuff you can rent. Brands, good brands, expensive brands. Okay, here's the different plans. <laughs> Did I mention it's geared towards the influencer lifestyle? Socialite, trendsetter, wanderlust. And we're gonna go straight for the wanderlust because I want as many items as possible. I want stuff for vacation, dates, brunch and dinner. Sure, Instagram. Oh gosh, there's so much to choose from. It looks like you can sort everything by size, color, occasion, designer. I'm gonna be honest, I got impatient because I wanted this t-shirt. It's been a rough week. Can you hear it in my voice? I got really sick and I was like, I just need to live in this. I haven't opened the rest of it yet. By the way, this is not sponsored. I spent my own money on all of this. If I was a good little influencer, I would probably try harder to like, get them to send this stuff to me for free, but I am not. I'm here to find out if this is legit a good deal for you guys. And if it's not, I'm not afraid to speak my mind and make some enemies. So there's this interview with Kendall Long, who is on The Bachelor. People tell me that we look like long lost sisters. You let me know what you think. It's hard to constantly have new looks for interviews, events, and photo shoots. I try not to wear the same thing more than once or twice. I'm the opposite. I'm like, if I keep wearing something over and over again, I feel like that's more helpful to you because then you know it's good. <laughs> definitely have been times, events, vacations, where I buy this cute new wardrobe, wear it for said event or vacation, and then never touch it again. We might have a solution on our hands. <laughs> the 109 for my first month, I get four clothing items, three accessories, which ended up coming out to $15.57 per item. And then I could also add on two more items for $11 each, which I did. So my total ended up being $131. Turns out they added a bonus item. I don't know if that's something that they do regularly or they just did it because it was like my first month. Before we dig into our outfits though, a quick word from today's sponsor. Function of Beauty. I have been using Function of Beauty hair care products exclusively for like over two years now. Something exciting that they just came out with, their starter hair set. So it comes with the shampoo, conditioner. The best part about Function of Beauty hair care is that it's tailored especially to you. So you go on their website and you complete the little hair quiz all about your hair type and your hair goals. So my hair is wavy, medium thickness, and pretty dry, and my goals were to protect the color. I actually recently chopped off my extensions and went quite a bit lighter with my color, so making sure my hair is nice and healthy and keeping the color lasting a long time is very important to me right now. Deep condition, soothe my dry scalp and protect from heat products. And then you can also pick the scent and how strong you want the scent to be, or no scent at all. Everything down to the name on the bottle and the colors that you want your shampoo and conditioner to be are customizable. And it even comes with these adorable stickers, so I'm gonna leave a link in the description below. You can get a start kit for less than $30, free shipping. It's definitely the best deal in custom hair care out there. So if you've been wanting to try Function of Beauty and you haven't yet, now is a great time. Back to the video. You know, I'm putting this on right now because I am sweating. Yeah, they're not getting this one back. I love it. <laughs> so that's the other thing with this service is you can send it all back or you can keep it for their low price. So this one, for example, says that it's a $69 t-shirt. I can purchase it for $41.40. So I was curious because sometimes these like online thrift store places like to inflate that price to make it sound like a better deal than it actually is. But I looked up this shirt. I couldn't find this exact one, but the Daydreamer brand Def Leppard t-shirts all really are like $69. Also, I have actually been to a Def Leppard concert before, so I feel like I'm not a total poser by wearing this all the time. <laughs> Their size range isn't phenomenal. It looks like most of the stuff comes in a size extra small to extra large, but obviously all the items are like picked over. OMG. I'm new, feel free to remove my tags before wearing. I don't know what this came off of, but. Don't worry about washing your items. Our team of professional cleaners will take care of that part for you. First outfit I got, this cute little, show me your moo moo cardigan. This is so like, 
out of my comfort zone of stuff that I would wear. But that was kind of my point with all of this. I'm trying to be trendy. <laughs> this says that it was 148 new. And if I like it enough, I can purchase it for 6660. I also wonder if that's where they make most of their money is people deciding to keep this stuff rather than the actual rental process. And then I got these pants to go with it. They're from Moon River and they're the slit side ruffle pants. Worth $80. <clears throat> so this is why I don't ever buy pants that aren't leggings. These are not even close to fitting. <laughs> Oh, I'm so sad. It's not happening. The cardigan's super cute though. Very influencer-esque. I like how the sleeves are kind of poofy. I don't know. I'm sure I have something else for this to go with, but that would have been a cute outfit. So the jewelry came in this little pouch and then they're bagged up nicely. Oh, this necklace is gonna be good. Cute. This necklace might have to be something I keep too. It doesn't feel like that good of a deal though. 52 bucks is kind of a lot for a necklace, but. Well, this outfit was a half win, half fail. Shall we move on to the next one? <laughs> Apparently I had really high hopes for those white pants because those are the only bottoms that I got. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to pair this with something else. Okay, wait. I think this is meant to be worn without a bra. Hang on. Okay, this is cute. This is a bodysuit from Lonnie the Label. I don't love the lack of support that it's giving me, but since it's like ruffly, I think it hides that a little bit. I feel naked. This is cute though with this like meshy corsety body. I do feel like a bodysuit is a little bit of a weird item to like, rent out and send back, but it is not wanting to stay on my shoulder. This is one that I saw a bachelor girl wearing and I feel like they just know what's up with what's in style. And then these pants are from Balance Athletica. I just reviewed them a few videos ago. I feel like they're a very influencer-esque pant. <laughs> Ooh, let's open my bonus item. Oh, well, this is cute. It's super soft. I like the pattern. I feel like it's a little not the right season for this though, because it's starting to get warm outside. In the fall or winter, I would wear the heck out of this thing, but it's a little too toasty for this already. Here's the other jewelry item I got. Loved AJ is the brand and it's called a cave triple band ring cute it's just a little and dainty i love it oh no i shouldn't have put it on that finger Ugh. oh and this i don't buy a lot of handbags so this could be good this you know rental thing look how cute this is I've seen lots of like jewelry and sunglasses in this, whatever this print is, but I've never seen a whole bag made from it. I love it. The brand is Bellini, I think is how you say it, the Brianna bag. It was $55 new, but I could purchase it for $38.50. I might, I might. <laughs> that is so cute. And it's gonna go with everything, you know? Okay, let's move on to some dresses. For Love and Lemons was that brand that I followed on Instagram through college and stuff, and there's just no way I could afford anything from them. <laughs> Their stuff is beautiful and lacy and feminine, but it's so stinking expensive. I love that they had so much of that brand on here and you can rent it for so cheap because it totally is the stuff that you're gonna wear like on vacation and then probably never again. So perfect to rent. So I feel like we could just go ahead and rename this video, Hope Realizing How Much Weight She Gained This Last Year for 10 minutes because this dress doesn't fit at all. Like the top half fits fine. We also have kind of a situation with the ruffles here. They need to be like ironed, but the bottom half doesn't fit at all. So I'm not even gonna show you that. It won't even go over my butt, but luckily I got another dress and hopefully this one goes better. If not, we're gonna be taking advantage of that two day return to get new stuff thing. This one's also for Love and Lemons. Okay, we have a winner, thank goodness. This one fits and it's really cute. Look at the back of it. This dress is totally giving me bachelor girl vibes. Like finally getting my first one-on-one. -on -one. We're going on a picnic. <laughs> this is the kind of stuff I feel like is so worth renting too. Like this dress is almost $300 brand new. This is honestly one of the first times that I've shopped for like normal clothes in the last year. And I'm sitting here thinking like, 
this is embarrassing maybe i shouldn't even post this video because half the things i got don't even fit but the truth is like maybe that is one of the things that sites like this is good for it like so say i'm a size large right now a lot of my wardrobe back there is a size small so rather than going out and buying a whole new sized wardrobe renting could be a really good option if you've lost a bunch of weight gained a bunch of weight maybe you're pregnant but you're a size that you know you're probably not going to be that size forever this year was rough for a lot of us <laughs> and i know that once i start living like a more active lifestyle and i'm actually out doing things again i'll probably drop back down close to the size that i was before all of this but until then <laughs> it probably wouldn't hurt to have some clothes in a size that i'm comfortable in right now so this actually could have been a really good discovery <laughs> for me to make right now anyway if your body has gone through some changes in the last little while just know you're not alone <laughs> so with that i probably will continue using this service i feel like it was a great deal for the stuff that i got and like i said i think it will be a really good way to dress my body in cute clothes like it deserves to be dressed <laughs> while i'm experiencing these fluctuations fashion pass gets a thumbs up from hope scope thanks so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video